My name is Vladimir, I'm a journalist, it's clear. What about the trade? You wrote, yes. You have the opportunity to record the video, talk to appeal to be exchanged. Do you voluntarily consent to the recording and publication of this video? I didn't want to, but if I have to, then yes. But you need this. Come on. I don't care. I agree. Your verdict, right? Yes. Fatty. You didn't plead guilty? I pleaded guilty. How many years? Two years. What article is this? 436, part 2. What's that? This is a new article, for supporting this situation. Glorification, support and justification of Russian aggression. Where and how did all this happen? I ended up on the website of the community, anti-fascism. Lugansk and Donetsk People's Republics, and I was invited to be the administrator of this community. Why you? Where did you live? Full name? Vyacheslav. Vyacheslav, 23rd of July, 81st year. Where are you from? Kharkiv. Kharkiv? Yes. What didn't suit you? What was the problem? Everything suited me. You were fine with everything and then you were invited to some website and you ran away there? Well, if we had so many fascists, did that not suit you? The anti-fascist community implies that there are fascists here, right? Maybe. Where are these fascists? Tell me, I haven't met any fascists. I commented on the article, they contacted me, and then I made copies from one site to this site. Let's do it differently. Why did you go there? Why? What is the motive? Money? No. We were just talking. I was offered a. The people I talked to were interested in what was going on. I read such information on this site. Living in Ukraine, have you decided to read the information on the DPR website? No. On another. What site? Russian Spring. That is, you lived in Ukraine and everything suited you, and Russia invaded and started bombing your Kharkiv? Yes. What does it mean? Well, that's how it happened. Well, anyway, I'd look for every possible way not to go into the army. And that's just the way it happened. Please tell me more. You would look for any ways not to join the army. So you thought that if Russia captured Kharkiv, you would avoid being drafted into the army? I wouldn't have joined the army there even if that happened. They wouldn't ask you there, I would do everything possible to avoid picking up a weapon. I am against war. So, against the war? Yes. Let's do it again. What did you write on these sites? I copied the articles. What was in them? Military content about what is happening. And then I published it on the community website. Did you get paid for this? No. How could these articles help stop the war? I tell you, the people I talked to were interested in what was going on. I would show them the information I was reading and they would ask me to tell and show others, then I would copy and publish. What exactly? Regarding the hostilities between Russia and Ukraine. Yes. Can I read it? Certainly. I just think that this way we will find out everything faster. Impressive footage. The Russian military showed a defeated AFU base with the help of S-300 near Kharkiv. Kharkiv itself was shelled from S-300 not the AFU bases. Do you know well, that? I say that I only copied. I understand this, but I'm telling you that Russia is shelling your city. I didn't know. I was in a closed room. In what enclosed space? In the apartment. Were you hiding from shelling? I was just at home with my mom. Mom has health problems. I get it. And you, being in this apartment, doubted that it was Russia shelling Kharkiv from S-300. I didn't question anything. I was just taking the text, copying it from one site to another. It is clear to me that in military operations there is shelling from both sides. It's understandable. That is, Kharkiv is being shelled from both sides? Well, that was my understanding. Why did we suddenly decide to shell our own city? 
Explain it to me. The Russians came in and they tried to stop them. Well, the Russians, of course, were shot. Exactly. Further. Russia crushed radio intelligence on the Izium front. I'm Russian, and I'm proud of it. Did you publish this? Yes. Are you proud? Do you support this? Well, my parents are Russian. I am against war. I'm against. I want the Slavs to be together and live peacefully. Do you want to live with Poles? I am for the Slavs to be together. Are Poles Slavs? I don't know. Who are the Slavs? Russians, Ukrainians and Belarusians. Only they? I think so. Clear. Read at least something about this. Someday. I don't know. Maybe they should give out some literature about the Slavs here, or what? Well, that's my opinion. Have you read the story? This is a school curriculum. Slavic tribes. Settlement of the Slavs. Western Slavs, Eastern Slavs. I read this a long time ago. Who did they share? What are the areas of resettlement? Where did they settle? I said, this is my opinion. Are the Czechs Slavs? I don't know. Do countries with such names as Slovenia and Slovakia tell you anything? Perhaps, yes, too. Origin of names? Yes. Slavs too? No. I told you, I consider three people Slavs. Well, how's that? I don't understand. It's a fact. There is, for example, a white sheet with black writing on it. I tell you it's a white sheet with black writing on it. And you say, no. It's possible. I haven't read about it. Yes, this is the school curriculum. This is not a conspiracy theory. In short, you have pro-Russian views, don't you? I used to be. Why didn't you say so right away? Well, I'm talking about it now. I had this opinion, and this is the result. You had this opinion, and you believed that Russia should seize Kharkiv, right? Well, that's what she was going for. Did you think that Russia should capture Kharkiv? I've read all sorts of information. Of course, if you reposted this information yourself, I read. Well, I mean, disseminating that information. Did you also give out location information, yes or no? Yes, this applies to that school. That is, you told where our military went and through screenshots, noted where exactly. Correct? And you got two years for that? Yes. I just don't have the words. I read on. You're passing the information on to the other side. Next text. A small convoy went in the direction of Chuhuiv through the village about four hours ago, wheeled, possibly the transfer of manpower. Then you call all sorts of bad words to the Ukrainian military. And you were given two years. You passed on information about the equipment, copied posts to pro-Russian sites. Did you surrender the school, and then it was shelled? No. Right. You gave up the location of our convoy, right online. Wow. Then you admitted guilt and repented. So what if you admitted guilt and repented? Would you do it again if you knew what was going to happen? I would have done something completely different just to stay out of the army, even if I got a term. Is there anything you would do just to get a sentence and stay out of the army? Like what? What would that be? Anything to stay out of the army. Did you do this in order not to get into the army as well? No, it's not possible. You did this because you were pro-Russian. Are you disappointed in your views at the moment? Or do you still support Russia? I am for peace. I am against war. Listen, let's make up your mind. You are a normal, sane person. How can you support the side of the aggressor who is attacking if you are for peace? How does it fit together? How can it be put together? Me too. Personally, I am against the war. I'm against it. You say you're against war. I already understood about the Slavs. I immediately asked if you lived in Ukraine and if everything was normal. I asked you if you had seen fascists. 
You said you hadn't. Those are your words. And now we're under attack. You are against the war and start giving up locations of our positions and publishing information in support of the attacking side. How can that be? How can someone who is against the war do that? It was just socializing, different news and discussions. It is clear to me, for example, that you have included such denial, and it will be clear to anyone watching this that you are simply trying to deny obvious things. That white is white and black is black. I'm not going to listen to two hours of your denials here. Go to the Russian side and have them take you for an exchange. If at all possible, please pick me up for a trade. Do you have a family? I have children. Are you married? No, I'm divorced. What did you do? Where did you work? I used to work in warehouses. What did you do? There were various goods, for example, household appliances. Have you been involved in the receipt of goods? Yes. It's kind of a normal job. There was never enough money. You will be taken to Russia. What do you think you are going to do there? Where will you live? What will you do? I will try to go to my brother and my mom's house in Germany. In other words, you want to go to Russia to join your brother and mother in Germany? Yes. I wish you success. Seriously. That's it. You are ready? Yes. Have you applied? Yes. Do you want to go back? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Were you forced? No. Nobody forced me. Is this your wish? Yes, my wish. My name is Vladimir. I am a journalist. We create such videos. You can be seen in this video. Small chance, but still. And they will take you away. Do you agree? Yes. Do you agree to publication? Yes. Full name? Kovalenko Denis Petrovich, born in 1980. City? Krasnograd, Kharkov region. Have you lived here? Yes. All your life, right? What were you doing? My education is economics, but... That's your verdict, right? Here he is. Yes. Can I read it? Yes. Tell me about your life. Well, lately I've been working outside of my specialty. I was caring for my elderly father. Mother died from COVID. What was your education before working as a watchman? Higher, economics. Economy. What were you doing? I was engaged in internet marketing, created online stores, and taught myself how to do this. I don't understand. Krasnograd meat processing plant. Krasnograd? Krasnograd, yes, the company does not exist. Yeah. Have you taught yourself how to create all kinds of websites? Yes. Why have you stopped doing that lately? I worked. Garden. Not enough time. Well, look, the watchman earns, roughly speaking, 5,000 hryvnia, right? And by creating all these sites you can easily earn that kind of money in a week. I have a garden, father, he needs to be taken care of. I understand. You just had to be there. Yes. You took care of your father. Yes. You worked in security. I worked in a government job. Watchman. And, in addition, you also created this online resource. Is not it? Yes. Yeah. So there was still enough time for this. Fine. And so on. How did you connect with those people who... They found me through Telegram. Well, I published the information somewhere. Maybe it's through communication? For example, in some group did you express your pro-Russian views? No. No? So they contacted you? Yes. They offered a job? Yes. What did they say? Well, I was making a simple news website for them. Simplest. I said, what you can pay, then pay. So this was your agreement? Yes. Was the purpose of this site and its design explained to you? No, roughly speaking, there was no design there at all. I asked to name the news categories. Technical task? There, well, just what news categories, that's all. They will send me articles. Did they explain to you what the news would be? Roughly speaking, they will send me public news. What was the name of the site? 
RussianGlory.ru. RussianGlory.ru? Yes. Don't you understand what this means? Well, I've already forgotten English. Only later did they explain to me what this means in Russian. Denis Petrovich, stop it, seriously. We agreed to have a normal conversation with you. Why was the site created? I think maybe they wanted to show people the truth. Everyone has their own views. I agree. I'm not going to scold you for your views. What's your motive? Later I found out that they were engaged in volunteer activities, collecting. It's somewhere around this time. They asked for details. Whoever can. It was already at the very end. Were they collecting donations? Well, sort of, yes. It's near the end. And when did this end and beginning come? Sometime in the middle of summer. Well, somewhere in September, maybe August. And the end? September or August. August or September. Denis Petrovich. Now, for example, what can you say about such a proposal? Changing the boundaries of the territorial integrity of Ukraine. Have you published this information? Well, there was news. They sent news. Have you published them? I published it. Have you read them? Not always, sometimes. Those articles, when you read, what did they say? What were they talking about? Well, almost a year has passed. Let me remind you, calls to change the boundaries of territories or the state border of Ukraine. It was. What did it look like? Well, the usual news. About DNR, LNR. Were you even a supporter of this whole pro-Russian ideology? Partially, yes. Tell us about partially. Why and what exactly did you like there? I have a mixed family. Ukrainian father, Russian mother, how can I separate them? I don't like that May 9th has been made a holiday alien to us. Oh, it's closer. What else? I don't like it when religion is criticized. They bring politics into it. What religion? Orthodoxy. Orthodoxy of the Moscow Patriarchate? It's not the church's fault. What else? These are probably the main motives. Please tell me why you don't like the holiday, Day of Reconciliation, or, Day of Remembrance. Because I have two grandfathers who fought in World War II. Do you need to remember? Necessary. Don't like Memorial Day? I mean, general holiday. Everyone took part in the war. Then these were different Soviet countries, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, Uzbekistan. Who else? Well, Kazakhstan, all 15 republics, it was 12 then. Who else? The Baltic states don't count. Who else fought? Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, then there was Kyrgyzstan, the Kyrgyz Republic. Who else fought? Europe. Who? Great Britain, they were allies of the United States. The allies fought. So good. You know. They have, Memory Day, in Russia, Victory Day. We had, Victory Day. When was it cancelled? 9th of May. Last year or when? I don't remember. That's the thing, it was cancelled after a full-scale invasion. So at the time you committed the crime, we still had a full-fledged Victory Day. I can open Wikipedia and read it to you. So this argument is weak. However, they previously called for the holiday to be cancelled, undisguised. Who are they? Well, our television, too. This is called democracy. Are you thirsty? No thanks. You can drink if you want. This is called democracy. We do not have state-controlled media. Some media have one owner, others have another. Some media have one view, others have another. So we should support Russia firing missiles at us? This is in memory of my grandfather, May 9th is a sacred holiday for me. I still started studying at a Soviet school. Look, while you were doing this, Yes. We still officially had a holiday on May 9th. Officially it was, Victory Day. Who doesn't know this, take a pen and look for information on the internet. Deputies openly shouted about the need to cancel this holiday. I understand. That is. It is not normal. Some deputies are shouting about cancelling the holiday, and is this a reason for you to support the aggressor who kills people? Right? Well. So you think that people can be killed for this? 
No, I'm against war. In general, first of all we need to look for reconciliation, common ground. Did you look for common ground in this way? It is too. Could you please explain? Well, before everyone lived peacefully. Even 10 years ago. Yes. We lived well and went there to earn money. It seems that everyone went there en masse to work. Many people. Everyone lined up in a column and, in fact, many people went there to work. I would. I would argue with that. The same north. Tens, hundreds, maybe even thousands. But this is with a population of almost 40 million. It's a lot? Yes, many went there. Well, thousands of people. More. What, tens of thousands? I think so. How it was then. When there were no quotas, a lot of people went. God be with him, with the North. I try to understand, you say you had a good life. Yes? Everyone lived peacefully. Yes. And when did all this stop? 2014, no, 2012. Yes. What was the reason? This is the so-called revolution. This was done artificially. By whom? This applies to both the USA and Europe. These countries? Yes. For what? To make a bureau opposite Russia. This is the first. How? Including through propaganda on television. Propaganda? Yes. Was there propaganda in Russia? I don't know. I don't have that information. All you know is that there was propaganda from the US. Russian propaganda. You don't have a TV. And on the second day the broadcast was banned. Channel 1 and all Russian language channels were banned. Have you ever heard of boys in panties? There was information that they took the boy out in his shorts and crucified him. Haven't you heard of this? No. In short, was propaganda only from America? Give specific examples. I don't mean propaganda, but financing. Have you seen anyone handing over money? Firstly, there was even an American film. It was called Ukraine on Fire. An American film directed by Graham Phillips working for the Russians? This is not his film. Another director? We'll check now. Director of the film Ukraine on Fire. Let's get a look. Ukraine is on fire. Film director. Ukraine is on fire. Now let's see who the director is. Oh, it's Oliver Stone. Yes. Well, the same thing? This is a man of pro-Russian views. If you want, I will now open the site for you and you can read about it. I don't know. Wikipedia is already far from the standard of reliable information. I understand that Wikipedia does not exactly tell the truth about everything and everyone, but there are things that can be checked and double-checked. But he wasn't the only Hollywood celebrity to support Russia. No, this man. There's also Steven Seagal. Let's finish with Oliver Stone. This man constantly criticizes American foreign policy. Oliver Stone is a personal friend of Putin. I don't know whether he is a friend of Putin or not, but Steven Seagal also supported Russia and even obtained Russian citizenship for himself. And another actor, a bodybuilder, also took citizenship. Who exactly? I do not remember. He's probably a fighter without rules. I forgot his name. I understand who you are talking about. Big, bald. Yes, bald and big. All those whom you named are of no use to anyone, are of no interest to anyone. They do not know how to make money and are now worth nothing. Steven Seagal was a famous actor. He was a famous actor, like Gerard Depardieu. He came to Russia, lived a little, understood everything and ran away. He's smarter than Seagal. But Seagal stayed. So what? I'm trying to understand what does this mean? Where did we start? Everyone lived peacefully and calmly, you said that, right? Yes. Where did the problem start? From Maiden. You give me the Oliver Stone's film, Ukraine on Fire, as proof. I'm telling you that he is a man of openly pro-Russian views. There is not a single fact confirming the receipt of money in this film. This film says that $5 billion were given through the foundations. By whom? U.S. State Department. And for what? For everything. 
For whom? I think this is for politicians. I do not know for sure. Let's talk about what we know because you helped Russia, which is launching missiles and killing people. You must have some arguments. You can't use someone else's film as a basis, can you? I don't remember. I've been reading about this on the internet for a long time. Do you use the internet? Yes. Well, of course. Then search. But not with Google. This is an American search engine. Yandex is better. And your Yandex is prohibited. Well, that includes Wikipedia. What exactly should I read? Read everything. It's all here. Also, why did you need Yandex? To open Wikipedia? In order to then open the sites zen.ru and ukraine.ru. I don't want to read all of this. Show me where it says, 5 billion. Everything is available to you. Wi-Fi, Yandex, VPN, tinfoil hat. Milland, we invested 5 billion in the revolution. Show this quote. YouTube. Mm -hmm. Holders. Then, halfway through our visit, in the wee hours of Wednesday... During our visit, we witnessed a terrifying display of government force. Burkett used bulldozers and tear gas against the demonstrators. Is she lying? As they sang hymns and prayed for peace. Yeah. Ukrainians of all ages... Ukrainians of all ages flocked to the maiden. Secretary of State Kerry expressed strong dissatisfaction. But, yes, that's right. But by morning, Burkett was forced to retreat. That's exactly how it happened. I spent more than two hours with President Yanukovych. I didn't know and wasn't prepared. Let's find another video on YouTube. She says that they are investing in Ukraine, at least that is what they are talking about. That is, she did not give 5 billion to some protester or some politician to organize the maiden. Putin also offered money to Yanukovych. I do not understand what the problem is. You can call it whatever you want, investment or... We can call it whatever we want. Have you seen the map of Ukraine? Certainly. We just know how America finances. They defeated Yugoslavia and destroyed the country back in the 90s. Why America? Who bombed Yugoslavia? What does America have to do with us? I ask you. What do I care about Yugoslavia in the context of our conversation? You support Russia attacking Ukraine, killing people. I ask you to justify your position, but you are talking about America and Yugoslavia. Is this your justification for killing Ukrainians? Okay, we accept your position. May 9th was cancelled, that's bad. As for the 9th of May, at the moment. But has this already been discussed? What does it mean? It is not so easy. Once again, look, I'm not trying to convince you. At the time you committed your crime, Russia had been firing missiles at Ukrainians for almost six months. Is it so? Yes. Did you know about this? Certainly. Did you know that Russian missiles fly and hit not only military targets? I didn't know this. Did Russia kill civilians? Yes. What was the motive for your actions? One of the reasons is May 9th. How were you detained? I was detained when I was walking home from my shift. How exactly? How did they find you? They say through Kupiansk. They had a correspondence. The customer was from the site. I don't know who. I only knew his phone number, that's all. Were you detained by the SBU? Yes. If I had known earlier, I would not have made this site. Wouldn't you write? No. Do you want an exchange? Yes. For what? My friends moved there. Are you a close person to them? I think yes. Why? I don't know. Maiden occurred in Ukraine. Do you think Ukraine is an independent country or not? I think no. We are not sovereign and have no right to make our own decisions? What the US tells us to do, we do. Is it normal that Russia annexed Crimea and invaded Donbass? No comments. 
No comments? I don't want to comment on this. Are you ready to talk only about America? We'll do what she says, right? Unfortunately, yes. Yes. It's clear. Why did Putin start the war? Is the US to blame again? I don't know what was there. Was May 9th cancelled because of this? We don't know. It's clear. Where we deal with global problems, the answer is, we don't know the whole truth. Yes, it is true. I understand.